Hi, I'm Ellen Stofan, the John and Adrian Mars Director of the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. I'm thrilled to announce we are ready to begin reopening our museum, starting with the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia, near Dulles Airport. Like you, we have spent the last few months doing our best to stay safe in this challenging time. That meant we had to close both of our public locations and most of us work from home. We've kept a limited staff on site throughout the shutdown to keep our artifacts safe and ensure our building systems were maintained. As you're probably experiencing in all parts of your life, things will be a bit different from your previous visits to the Hazy Center. Here's what you need to know. First of all, if you don't feel well, please stay home and get better. We'll be here for a visit once you've recovered. You'll need a free timed pass to get in. You can find the link for tickets in the visit section of our website. Tickets are timed, so please show up at the time on your ticket. If you're early, please remain in your car until it's time. It's a great idea to download the map of the Udvar Hazy Center from our website to your phone to help guide your visit. The map includes information on some items that may be off display as we upgrade the roof on the building. Everyone who is six years old or older will be required to wear a face covering while in the building. Face coverings are recommended for children two years old and older. Please maintain social distancing of six feet from anyone not in your group. We've made changes throughout the building to help with this from markings of where to stand in the elevators to limiting which sinks you can use in the restrooms. We ask you to use the hand sanitizer available throughout the building and practice appropriate hand washing whenever necessary. For now, the IMAX theater and the simulator rides remain closed. We're sorry, but we continue to work on ways to make them safely available. Remember, the Hazy Center does have a parking fee but we've temporarily reduced it from $15 to $10 per vehicle. If we all follow the basic requirements of wearing face coverings, keeping a safe distance, and washing hands or using sanitizer, we can ensure a safe and enjoyable visit. Be sure to check out our website before your visit for details and the most up-to-date information. I look forward to seeing you at the museum.